hello what's up youtube photographer ronnie twitter and in this tutorial i'm sure i can easily edit full body or half body images and not only headshots in photoshop so i want to show you how fast it is going to be and if i told you a beginner or a photographer out there who would love a quick and faster workflow regarding editing in photoshop this is a tutorial for you and if i told you feel like it is all full simply hit the like button on this video because it helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there so without further ado let's get started so i'm just going to use frequency separation and as you know frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer we have the text the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors so i'm just going to come to the image right here and simply press ctrl j or you can use command j and name this to low and i'm going to name this to high So after doing this, I'm just going to come to the low frequency layer and select it and hide the high frequency layer. And after hiding it, I'm just simply going to come right here to filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur. So this is the most important step regarding skin retouching and frequency separation for half body images. So for this, I'm just going to zoom in and I look, for, I look for an area that has more textures than the rest of the skin, which is this area right here. So I'm just going to drag up the radius up to a point when these textures or details are just starting to disappear from uh, this very image. So I'm just going to take it up. So at round 5 that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the textures in this image. And I'll simply hit OK. And after doing that, I'm simply going to come back to our high frequency layer and select it. And after selecting it, simply come and activate it. Then I'm going to come to image right here. And I'm just going to come to apply image. So when I come to apply image, it's going to open up the apply image dialog box. And I'll simply come and select the low frequency layer. And for my 16-bit image, I'm going to be using a blend mode of add right here. Opacity at 100 percent the scale is to offset zero, and I'll simply turn on the invert option. But if I told you working on an 8-bit image, this is what you have to do. Simply come and select subtract as the blend mode. And make sure the scale is to offset 128, opacity at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check, and simply click OK. But for my case, it is a 16-bit image, scale is to offset 0, blending has to be add, and I'll simply invert this and hit OK. And after doing that, I'll simply come to the blend mode, i change it from normal, and I'll change it all the way down to linear light. And after doing that, I'll simply put these two in a group by pressing control and selecting both and dragging them in the folder I can't put them in a group so I'll simply rename that to frequency separation just like that and I'll simply come and open up the frequency separation group and simply hide the high frequency layer by clicking on the visibility icon and select the low frequency layer so just come under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool or you can right click right here and look for a mixer brush tool and now set it the right way by coming right here and make, making sure that the hardness is set to zero. And soft round brush has been selected. And make sure, make sure that the brush is clean and also clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected right here. The weight is 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flow at 100%. Make sure sample all is not turned on. And I'll simply come and I start blending the image or the skin tones in this very image. So how do we start? brush tool is going to work you simply mix the colors that are looking alike so that you can create a nice and smooth blend among those colors so i'm just going to come and mix those colors and you can see that we are now creating a nice blend within those colors so uh, those colors are transitioning from one color to another simply make sure the brush is slightly smaller and simply mix the border or the boundary of that given color in the skin tone and you can see as you're working can notice that the image is getting to look a little bit plastic but don't mind about that because the reason for this is because we have hidden or turned off the textures regarding this very image so I just come and i blend just like that and you have to take the strokes of the brush according to the way a given area is shaped so i'm just going to forward this and i'll see you later on in this very tutorial
now you can see that we are now done using the mesa brush tool and you can see a quick before and after for just using the mesa brush tool so for full body images i tend to only use the mesa brush tool and i blend the skin tones so that they can create a nice and smooth blend so after using the mesa brush tool i simply come straight to my high frequency layer and select it and get the clone stamp tool to remove the blemishes so the reason for removing blemishes after doing the skin retouching is because the mesa brush tool is going to soften majority of the blemishes and you'll have less work to do regarding blemish removal so after getting this clone stamp tool simply come right here and make sure the hardness is zero and soft round brush is selected and opacity and the flat 100 percent make sure sample is on current layer because the blemishes are part of the high frequency layer so i'll simply reduce on the size and hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area that is close to the blemish and click over the blemish to replace it with a clean skin so you have to sample from an area that is close or near the blemish that you want to remove so that the skin that is replaced or the clean skin that replaces the blemish is of uh, the same color so i'm just going to be forwarding this and i'll see you later on And now you can see that we are now done removing the blemishes and this is the before and after for just the skin retouching of this very image so after doing the skin retouching you can do the final adjustments to your image or your photo for example ensuring the blacks or the darks are as black as possible so i'll just come and create a selective color adjustment layer and simply come to the blacks and simply take up the black slider to intensify the blacks so i feel like they have a little bit of a yellow tint so i simply come and take out the yellows from the blacks to make sure the blacks are as dark as possible and that is the before after and you can proceed to do the eye whitening by coming to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and taking down the saturation all the negative 69 that is okay and make sure the white layer mask is selected and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard and get the brush tool and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard then make sure white is the foreground color by switching using the arrow or you can use x on the keyboard so white is going to reveal the whitening effect in the eyes so i'll simply zoom into the eyes right there reduce on the size and simply paint on the eyes to reveal the whitening effect so basically this is desaturating all the colors that are existing within what should be white in the eyes of our model or subject right here so right now we are done retouching this very image and you can see a before after before after so this is how fast and quickly to retouch images using frequency separation in photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating